one of the things that Josh Gaddis is doing, so I'm getting back to the coordinator question, really seems like he is scheming up some plays that give Kate McNamara some very open. I mean, he's scheming receivers running wide open, either down the field, intermediate. He's really, I think, put Kate McNamara, you know, kind of figured out what he needs to do to kind of help him along, help get him in the rhythm. And I thought this game was maybe his most balanced game of the season. I don't think there's any doubt. I think Josh, like the quarterback, has grown into his position. You know, after the, well, his third year doing it, it's uh, he's learned how to time out calls. Because in this game, I, I said this before, I'll say it again, it's not what you call, Sam, it's when you call it. And he's timed out some great calls. We're gonna we're gonna allude to some of those when we get into the into the into the video, but he has learned what his kids can do, and has tailored his play calling to that. He's not trying to put a square peg in a round hole. And sometimes as a coordinator, particularly when you first start, you have a million ideas that you've used at other places, and this is my chance, and I'm going to do this. And and as it turns out, all those ideas, or at least part of those ideas weren't quite all you thought they were going to be based on the personnel you have. So as you, as you, as you coordinate longer and longer, you learn to adjust to the people that you have to play with, understanding that it isn't the X's and O's, it's the Jimmy's and Joe's. Right. And so let's bring up the tight end delay, because this wound up being a huge play for them on third down, uh, including the series after Cade McNamara, throws that interception that we will bring up later where he throws it right to the defensive back. The key pass on the next series was this tight end delay. And we're going to show you the first one right now. This was a, a third and 10 call, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, it was a uh, one of three tight end delays off three different variations in the perimeter. Okay, some of these may, may have been check downs to the tight end. Some of them may have been pure called tight end delays. But based on what they were doing defensively, they best exploited what Nebraska's scheme was, okay? Uh, when we get to the cut-up I'll, I'll, uh, or to the uh, to the video, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. But um, to have three different ways to do it means the defense can't line up and see the formation and say, here it comes, okay? That's huge because – if you've beat them one way, they tend to want to put the fire out, stop the bleeding. Oh, here's a three by one. Here comes a tight end delay. But they didn't do that. They hit them with three different looks off the same play. So there was no real way to get a beat on exactly what was next. Okay. Okay. Here's your picture. You got what is basically empty four by one to the field with a tight end attached to the formation. You can see that. Uh -huh. First of all, the protection, the, uh, the offensive line is sliding to the left and they're responsible for the three rushers to the left. There's a mistake on this because they bring the nickel and nobody picks him up. Fortunately, the tight end opens up quickly enough where the quarterback can release the ball before that guy could get to him. You can see uh, Henning, number three, is going to cross the hash, what I call a crash route and attack that far hash mark. You can't see him on the screen, but there's a vertical route right outside of him, and the guy to the right is running a go route. So you can see you still get that four vertical, uh, four vertical look. The soft spot is the big circle there, right where that umpire is standing, because that Mike linebacker is going to be out of dodge as soon as that ball snapped, protecting the middle of the field. You'll also note that the safeties will widen a little bit more than normal, knowing that there's a defender protecting that middle hole. All right. There's the nickel blitz. You'll see him come free. There's the reaction of the defense. There's the reaction of the offense. And there's the soft spot. Quarterback takes his drop, three-step drop. The nickel's free. It makes no difference. He just takes a quick hitch, flips him the ball in a, in, a, in a spot where he can do something with it. He didn't fall on the ground or have to jump for it or anything else. He caught it in full stride. Now he can run for the first down. 